Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Adam, this is Adam Sews. This is the reveal for the collab that I have been working on for many, many weeks. So if you are interested, keep watching. So this is reveal day. We have been waiting for what feels like forever because it's so exciting. I cannot wait to see what the girls have done with theirs. So this is a collab with Jen from Today and Jen's Sewing Room, Trish from Pinky's Farm, Andrew from Andrew Makes and Carol from Sew Carol. So once this video is finished, click on the links in the description box below to go to their channels and you will see the collaboration in full between all of us. So Andrew came to us well, it was kind of like a joint idea, really. But Andrew, I spoke to Andrew a little while ago and was like, oh, we should do a collab, blah, 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 blah. Um, and then she came up with this idea that it would be a really, really good idea if we did a five-way collab and we all picked a fabric that we all had the same sort of print of. So I think Andrew knew that Carol already had some fabric with mushrooms on. And then she, I piped up and was like, I've got some that's got mushrooms on as well. Um, but the fabric that I have with mushrooms on, I will just grab, is this gorgeous cotton poplin with these tiny little mushrooms on. But I've been using, I had quite a lot of this. I probably had about 10 metres in total. But I've used it for quilt backings. I've used it for all sorts of different things. I've used it for two quilt backings, actually, which is why there's hardly any left. Um, so I was going to make something with that. And I was going to make something craft related. And then I suddenly thought to myself, do you know what? I want to make something for me. I want to make something that I'm going to keep and something I'm going to get some use, for, uh, use from. And I thought, I don't want to make a bag. I don't want to make oven gloves or anything like that for the house. I want to make something for me. So I changed my mind, completely switched gears, went fabric shopping and found something even better than that mushroom fabric. And I will be back in two seconds with the reveal. So I went shopping and I found this really, really lovely um, flannel, which is 100% cotton and it is covered in the cutest mushrooms in the world. They look like little fairy, sort of pixie, sort of fairy tale toadstool mushrooms. And it is a really, really nice weight fabric. It was super, super um, reasonably priced from Fabricland. Um, which is a sort of small family run chain business in sort of the south of England. Um, they do have a website. Their fabrics, though, I will say they can be really, really nice or really, really sort of on the cheaper side. So you kind of have to be a bit careful with what you're buying. But this one's really, I was quite impressed with this, actually. It was only 695 a metre, I believe. Um, this is the wardrobe by me over, wardrobe by me over shirt, which I have made three of now. And this is my second one. I've made one for my husband, Darren. I've made one for myself. And I've now made this one for myself as well. Um, it's a really, really awesome pattern. It's got the most amazing way of doing the cuffs and the plackets, which I find really, really good. Um, it's much easier to follow than some of the other ones. Um, you actually stitch the inside of the cuff to the inside line and turn it out. Then you do then you do the outer part of the cuff and then you fold over the top edge of the cuff and top stitch it down so it conceals all of the edges on the inside of the cuff. So let me just um, unbutton it. So you get a really nice finished edge on the whole inside of the cuff and you get a finished edge that is concealed on the binding of the placket as well. And the packet kind of overlaps here so you don't have any raw edges on the inside as well. Um, these buttons that I've used are from Bits and Bags Co, who is a seller on Etsy. I can just probably get a focus on there for you. These are buttons that she actually made in um, sort of a charity fundraising for the Ukraine appeal, which have got little sunflowers in them. And then they're sort of like little, they look like tiny little blue and yellow sweets in them. Um, which are sort of suspended in this clear resin that she makes them from. But they're really nice buttons. They're 25 mil buttons, so they kind of work for anything. Um, and they come in packs of six for about three pounds. 
um, which I think is really, really reasonable. Um, I've actually had my dispatch notice today for the other ones that I've ordered from her. Um, so I will link her shop below as well if you're interested in any of those buttons. But this is my collab shirt. And initially when I bought the fabric, I thought to myself, this is a little bit strange. I don't know that I'm going to like something to wear out of it. But as you can see, it doesn't look that peculiar. I absolutely love it. And I will be wearing it regardless of what people think, because I don't care if I like it. And it makes me happy, even if I look like a hyperactive toddler. I don't care. I'm happy with it. And that's all that matters. So I would just like to say a huge thank you to all of the wonderful American ladies and to my British friend Carol as well and I will advise that you go and watch their videos to find out what they've made which is what I'm going to do this evening when these all drop on YouTube. So thanks for watching, take care, I'll see you all soon, bye for now.